Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. I'm here with part two of me opening a Stormfront Pokemon booster box. This box opening video is part of my 16 Pokemon booster box opening that I'm doing for the summer of 2014. If you missed part one or you'd like to see the other box openings I've done as part of this series, there are links to both in the video description of this video. This Stormfront box I bought from Blowout Cards for $89.99. And if you were watching last, the last video, part one, was a little chaotic at the end about everything that could go wrong in my house there went wrong. Phone rang, answering machine went off, doorbell rang, someone came to the door, but hopefully it won't be so chaotic here. And just a correction, the last pack in the last video, it only had three uncommons in it. It had the rare, reverse, hollow, and then the five common cards. So first pack here in the second half of the box. And again, I'm not doing the card trick just because I may get some of these cards graded. So I'll just do, it's the five common cards and the next two are the cards that I'm really looking forward to. So you have Magikarp, Starly, Magnemite, Pikachu, Mischievous, and then the next card is the Reverse Hollow. Mammal Swine, a very good way to start this half of the booster box off with a rare Reverse Hollow ton of energies acquired to retreat Mammal Swine. And then the first rare, the actual rare, there we go. A good way to start off this booster box. Two of the exact same cards in a row. The left is the non-holo version and the right is the reverse holo version. And then the three uncommon cards, Miltank, Pokeblower Plus, and a Haunter. Hopefully, I'll get two level X cards in this half of the box. The first half of the box, I just pulled one, and then I pulled a reprint card, as well as a shiny hollow card. Shiny hollow card looked extremely cool, and speaking of shiny hollow, Voltorb was the shiny, shiny hollow that I obtained. So this pack starts off with Voltorb, has Bidoof, Machop, Swinub, Duskull, the reverse hollow, is a far-fetched. Is that an uncommon? Yes, it is. And then the rare in this pack is a Drapion. Non-hollow rare. And then the three uncommon cards, Marley's Request, Dusclops, and a Miltank. Okay, next pack here. Reggie Gigas on the cover. Hoping to pull probably a Machamp level X to be the level X card I'd like to pull out of this half the box. There is a Magnemite card to start, then a Pikachu, Mischievous, Ponyta, Bronzor, Reverse Hollow card is a Regigigas, a nice rare Reverse Hollow, and then the actual rare is a Dustnor Hollow. Two rares is always nice to pull in a pack. Set that aside. Nice Hollow Foil card there. And then the three uncommon cards, Pichu, Staravia, and a Dusclops. Okay, next pack. Okay, so we have Pikachu. There is a Mischievous. A Ponyta. Bronzor. Voltorb, Reverse Hollow in the pack, Haunter, and that is an uncommon Reverse Hollow, and then the rare Tangrowth, just a non-hollow, and then the uncommon cards Electrode, Pichu, and Premier Ball, and I'm glad Pichu is an uncommon card in this set. A couple of the sets previously, I know EX Power Keepers for sure, Pichu is a rare card. Never made sense to me why baby Pokemon would be rare, but you have to ask Nintendo that one. Okay, so this pack has Magnemite. There is another Magnemite. The first one was a Metal. This one's a Lightning type. Then a Voltorb, Starly, Switch, Reverse Hollow is a Tangrowth. Just pulled that card a couple packs ago. This is a Reverse Hollow Rare. And then the actual rare is a Luminion, 
hollow foil card. Get a good shot of it there. Hollow foil pattern. Starting to pull a few more hollow foil cards in this second half of the box. Didn't pull too many. The first half, Skarmory there is an uncommon, Cyclone Energy, and then Pichu. I've pulled a lot of Pichu lately. Okay, here we go with this pack. Right on the front is Swinub, then a Combi. Onyx, Potion, Cheruby, next card, Reverse Hollow Dustnor, so a couple of good rare Reverse Hollows, and now out of the last couple of packs, excellent, and then the actual rare in the pack is an Infernape Hollow, another good Hollow Foil card, you can't really beat that pack, a rare Reverse Hollow, and then a Hollow Foil card, right in a row. Okay. Little three uncommon cards to end the pack. Electrode, Skarmory, and Marley's Request. Okay, on to the next pack. There is Snover, Tangela, Machop, Duskull, Swin up, reverse hollow is a Sabli. Again, that card was very good when the Stormfront set was in the current rotation. There is a Machamp as the rare card. And then the three uncommons Luxury Ball, Shellgun, and Marley's Request. Okay, next pack here. Still waiting to pull. Another level X card. Haven't pulled any ultra rares in this half of the box. Several hollow foil cards though. Okay, so we have Duskull, Stunky, Finneon, Mischievous, Larvitar, Reverse Hollow is a stadium card, Conductive Quarry, uncommon card, and then the rare in the pack, Staraptor, which is a non hollow rare card. And then the three uncommons, Pokehealer Plus, Bibarel, and a Warp Energy card. About halfway through the second half of the box here. Okay, this pack starts off with Switch. There is a Scorapy, Voltorb, Ghastly, Stunky. Ooh, there's a nice rare reverse hollow right there. Tyranitar. I believe it's the second one I've pulled in this box. And then the actual rare is a Torterra. So another excellent pack. A rare hollow and then a rare reverse hollow. Set that aside. And then the three uncommon cards to end it. Marley's Request. Pokeblower Plus, And Haunter. A little different artwork on that Haunter card. Let me take a look at the packs here. We have three, six, nine packs left. So once we get done with this one, we'll be halfway. So we have Finneon. There is Snover. Tangela. Machop. Duskull. Reverse Hollow. Oh wow, two shiny hollows in this box, both Voltorb. I like the looks of that card quite a bit. I'll definitely set that aside, I may send it in to get graded. We'll have to see. And then the actual rare is a Drift Blim. Pretty nice looking Voltorb card though, I really like that card. Drift Blim is a rare, like I said, and then three uncommon cards, Grovile, Cyclone Energy, and Pupitar. Huh. I didn't think you'd get two shiny hollows in a box, but it's a nice pull. Here's a Voltorb, not a shiny one, of course. And then there's Ghastly, Stunky, Magnemite, Trico, Reverse Hollow, a Cyclone Energy card, rare in the pack, 
is a Cherim, non-hollow, rare. And then the three uncommon cards, Shelgon, Magneton, and Badoo. Okay, next pack here. Okay, so we have Ghastly, Stunky, Magnemite, Trico, Finneon, the Reverse Hollow is a trainer card, Poke Healer Plus, uncommon, and the rare in the pack, Sceptile Hollow, pretty cool looking hollow foil card there, set that aside. And then the three uncommon cards, Pokedrawer Plus, Dusclops, and Sablai. Pulled a ton of Sablai. Okay, next pack here. Five packs left after this one. Okay, starts off with Trico. There is a Finneon. Snover. Tangela, Machop, Miltank is the reverse hollow, which is an uncommon card. Rare in this pack is a Vespaquin, non-hollow rare. And then the uncommon cards, Scyther, Energy Switch, and Bibarel. Okay, next pack here. I haven't pulled, other than that shiny hollow, I haven't pulled a level X card out of this half of the box. I'm assuming I probably will. So, this pack starts off with Ponyta, Bronzor, Voltorb, Bidoof, Machop, Reverse Hollow is a Bronzor, just a common card. The rare in the pack. A Dustor, non hollow. And then the three uncommon cards Dust Clops, Pokedrawer Plus, and a Farfetched. Four packs left now in this Stormfront booster box. Okay, so we have Bagon, Roselia. Larvitar, Drifloon, Combi, ooh, Electrode, is that a reverse hollow rare? Nope, just an uncommon card. And then the actual rare in the pack, a bomb, a Boma Snow, and then the three uncommon cards, Pupitar, Magneton, and Machoke. Three packs left now to get that Hopefully second level X card of the box. Two more after this one. Another Voltorb on the top of this pack. Seems like a lot of packs had Voltorb right on the top. Voltorb, Bidoof, Machop, Swinub, Duskull. Reverse Hollow card is a Magnemite, just a common card. Rare card is a Tyranitar. And that's a non-hollow Tyranitar. I've know I pulled two rare reverse hollows previously in this box. That'll look nice, a set of three. And then Badoo, Conductive Quarry, and Warp Energy are the three uncommon cards. Okay, second to last pack here. Reggie Gigas on the cover. Okay, so we have Bidoof, Machop, Swinub, Duskull, Bagon, Reverse Hollow is a Pichu, and that is an uncommon Reverse Hollow. Second to last rare in this box is a Machamp non Hollow, and then the three uncommons Energy Link, Staravia, and Machoke. Okay, last pack here, last chance to get a level X card. 
Dusk Noir on the cover. So we have a Scorpi, Voltorb, Ghastly, Stunky, Magnemite, Reverse Hollow is a Marley's Request, that is an uncommon supporter card, and then the last rare in this box, doesn't look like an ultra rare, hopefully, it is a Holofoil, it is a Magnezone, so a good way to end this box with a Holofoil card. And then of course, the three uncommon cards to end the pack, Poker Drawer Plus, Mill Tank, and Electrode. So that ends this Stormfront Pokemon Booster Box opening. Again, this is part of my 16 Pokemon Booster Boxes that I'm opening for the summer of 2014. You can find a link to that playlist in the video description of this video. To summarize, I pulled two shiny hollow Voltorbs out of this booster box, a Charmander reprint, a Reggie Gigas Level X, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holofoil cards. So not bad pulls overall. I was definitely hoping for a Charizard reprint, but I do like the looks of that Charmander quite a bit, and I was pleasantly surprised by the two Voltorb shiny hollows that I did pull out of this box. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the video description of this video, my blog, Facebook, and Twitter links, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.